So what do we have here? M5 competition in Snapper Rocks Blue. And we'll go, go for a little night drive to uh, welcome. BMW driver number one. Thank you. And we are going to go to a little night I actually don't like the heads up display I want to disable that and disable air conditioning as well so let's see where we can disable Where to disable the heads up display? I think I'm completely wrong. A bit too humid, so let's enable that air conditioning and let that take some power. Two people on a scooter is like, come on. Media, radio, communication, messages, maybe if menu. No. So, navigation, my option. Settings. Heads up display, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna disable that. Okay, great. No heads up display, thanks. And 
and I believe there is option to kill this even the I drive. Curious. Oh yeah. Kill control display. There we have it. That's funny. It's just resting in dark, and I could dim dim the interior lighting as well. But I won't do that. Good grip, but it's still it's slippery, but it grips like a four-wheel drive, that's for sure. And what happens then if we put into it's automatic and I wanna do oh yeah now I have high beams automatic. That's good. Let's do uh, I mean good grip when it's completely wet outside. And makes logical to have the shift speed on the shifter here and I disabled the zoom in for speed for the speed dial and I disabled the speed limit warning what I don't know is how to limit the Disable the speed limit information. Start and stop, of course. That's so annoying. So, we drive and DC completely on, and I have the window down, that's why you have here some extra sound. Let's see how the grip is up to. 70, which the limiter is. Yeah, good. That was fast. I mean, you could notice how the computer, like, thought about everything, including grip. It's just flew away there. Wow, the M5 has been a, a launching car. So let's take this down to the least active mode. So just high gear, low consumption, and put this in auto. And we have a low consumption M5. Now we can put on the iDrive as well. Play with that. Uh, oh, 
actually I forgot <laughs> to put in a limit. Could that be true? Okay. Okay, cruise control activated. Cruise control is one setting and then autonomous drive is apparently one setting more. I've been really thinking of doing low consumption this for a while and I'm still at like some kind of depressive consumption at 20 liters per 10 kilometers. It's maybe just for this trip. Still, it's uh, well, it's just depressing for my wallet, my gasoline wallet. That is. So now I'm working to really take this consumption down. Autonomous driving now, it's pretty nice. This is funny, you can like zoom out. Oh, yeah, exactly to the globe, and that's like okay. is pretty fast I must say. Oops. A moron ahead driving without lights. I mean the consumption is not <laughs> the best on this car, but it has never been, at least on V8 twin turbos. to 
fight to get the consumption down. this on a dry or even also wet place but uh, without any traffic and without any uh, speediness as well. Very nice to have four wheel drive. I mean, it's needed with what is it close to 700 horsepower? It's crazy. Maybe that's why the consumption is what it is. Yeah, we could put on the, the power meter. Let's see my car. Sport displays. Here we have it. That's funny. Okay, well, everything is sport, but DC fully on. here. Oh, good, surprisingly good grip. Quite harsh. Yeah, I mean, the grip is not like any M5 before, that's for sure. I mean, how could it just DC not even kick in at lower speeds on a wet? Okay, we have a row construction. And <laughs> the guy without lights is ahead of us. That's amazing that he managed to find that guy again. Crazy that it's still grip. I mean, it's completely wet and it's still grip. Crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna eat some, so I'll be back. So what we have here, it's not the new 3 Series, but it, it's the M5 competition. Sapphire, or it's um,
snapper rocks and now I pushed I managed to enable the speed limiter I meant to enable M2 or my M1 program my apologies I'm amazed the amount of grip it is it sounds <laughs> maybe a bit too much amazing it just flies away just grip everywhere it's like the only way to drive it is on autobahn So, 80 km per hour road and put in speed limiter, 80. Distinguishing between the speed limiter and autonomous driving. I mean, you could put on autonomous driving and still have the speed limiter disabled, which is quite funny. So, and the speed recommended speed 80 is kind of or 40 there is kind of wrong and autonomous driving have been falling asleep the steering wheel is not green I don't know what this could be because now it's green You don't want to risk, I mean you know that autonomous driving works, but you don't want to put the car in the arm court either. See now it's turning by itself, no problem. So what to do when you don't, when you cannot, when you cannot ignore the speed limits. So it's not green. It says it's 50, that's wrong as well. So we're... How much power do we use? It seems like 30 horsepower or something.
takes. Couldn't use his turn signals either. That maybe it was on the G3540i, but uh, you yeah, have the range here. This used to be like down here. So that's. Uh Extremely good grip, I must say. I haven't seen DC flashing at any time. Here you could say the suspension is harsh. That's for sure. Nice driving with the window down so you can like have a hun hunch of what's going on outside. I mean the M5 hides the exterior sound so so much. It's extremely loud, all these banks. But on the other hand, I showed, I, I choose the most aggressive uh, shift program.
I'm not sure that the Panamera Turbo S did as many bangs as the M5 does. I mean, M5 has something going on with automatic gearbox. So, what's happening here? Okay, you flash him and he breaks. Probably maybe for switching gears on automatic. It's not the world's fastest taxi driver. It's kind of addictive this sound, but probably much more annoying from the outside than it is addictive to the driver. So, is the 50 road here? Nice to be reminded of that's an M5. Um, the M mode is wet, and it's probably just traction if you floor it. Oh, yes. That guy stepped on it. I mean, it's almost it's too much bangs going on. So if you can you brake launch it here. It's funny that it uses horsepower only when revving. Crazy grip. That seemed to be a really nice launch when you like brake boosted it like that. Wow. I mean, that was a crazy launch even without launch control activated. Because I didn't see any flag coming up, but the RPM didn't drop. It's crazy. So annoying these small things. Should just try that once more. There. <clears throat> it went in. Uh, uh, DSC, finally. You really have to provoke it in order to, to get enabled. <coughs> and if you want to be silent, you shouldn't. You shouldn't have it in third mode, let's switch it down to the most silent mode, to the first mode. And actually automatic as well. And it's a like game of finding 
parking spots. Okay, found a little parking spot. And you know what? Let's see if we can find that park assist. For somebody steals our. I don't know if it has. Yeah, it has park assist. Question is how to enable it. I don't know how to enable it actually. It's always so tricky. Maybe it doesn't even have it. Let's see. Uh. Come on. P. Yeah, parking assistant. I don't know when, how to use it actually, or how to enable it. I need to learn that. But let's do top view. I want to zoom in like here to see how close I am. Yes, I love the fact that it's an M5. What about like that? That's not bad. P, illuminated, M. to reply. Anyway, that's all for now. I love snapper rocks. Whoops. From a distance. And I also love the grip. That was crazy the grip. So, sportiest color, ceramic brakes, best flat up there, 4 million euro I believe it is, but um, wow, just have a look at this, so such a hardcore, you don't care about emissions or anything, just maximum grip and performance, just the way as it should be. Carbon roof. Yep, I think I want this. Okay, that's all for now. Good night.